Hello. It's two thirty in the morning. Um. What? That's the whole statement. I don't. There's nothing else to say. Um. It's crazy to me. So essentially, for context here, the double eviction just happened. Two people are out. However, since then, we've started the overnight competition. And for those that are in the season, a lot of you know how crazy these last couple of hours have been in terms of the entire game going kerpoof. Week three will always week three itself. There was a slight delayed reaction this season, but we're getting the flips and things. I need to remind myself that we're talking about the week that just happened, not everything that's happening right now and coming up. Mm -hmm. So I locked in my rankings a while ago. So de we'll definitely like touch on that, but then also like say what's going on and where people's trajectories are. So the scores are from up until the end of the double eviction, but a lot has happened since. Oh my God. Just dive right in. I think so. I mean, the week itself was boring as hell. There's nothing to talk about. But there's so much to talk about after. So yeah, let's just go. Well, it's also we're talking about the double election too. Mm -hmm. So let's start with Alfred. Okay. Alfred. Um so starting with last week. Mm -hmm. I will start with my score. I have once again kept my seven for Alfred. Um, spoiler alert, no one, I'm at an eight for no one this week because for me, if you're at an eight, you really have to be in, in the driver's seat or something and no one's in the driver's seat of this season. Um, however, I can really appreciate with Alfred going back to Sonny's HOH, which was the main HOH of this week, which is crazy to say because I'm so past that and the non-entity that it was. Um, but Alfred is one of the few people that got Sonny to respond to him just with any sort of idea as to what was going to happen. He pushed for it. He, he's very good at like talking to people and like not being afraid to like tiptoe around the game. You know what I mean? Um, so that's why I'm still at my seven for Alfred. I don't have much more to say because it is what I've said in the last two weeks. However, literally seconds ago, essentially, I, Alfred moving forward could quickly become in a precarious scenario. We'll see how it all unfolds. But essentially, the entire power of dynamic of the house has really flipped. The house really isn't no more. The troop is especially no more. And Alfred's throwing a lot of people's names around to a lot of different people and to the wrong people because he's gotten caught. So, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, he's still in the running for HOH, so... Yeah, exactly. He's still the HOH, so... But yeah, I'm also going to stay with my seven for Alfred. Um, I feel like Alfred's current... Who's calling me? Oh, <laughs> I'm just getting notifications for the company. Hold on. Everyone's still in. Everyone back in. Time. Right? Good. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like Alfred's kind of like a silent assassin in this game. I feel like it's past tense. Yeah, well, I'm talking about week three. And back when I was thinking about these rankings, I feel like I was waiting for Alfred's time to strike. Um, so that's where I was in terms of week three. Obviously, things have changed literally in the last few minutes. Um, but more generally in the last uh, few hours. Um, but I think for the week three, I was really focusing on how Alfred was staying kind of under the radar and how he was really only going to be um, kind of coming out of his hiding when he really needed to. But I guess that is not totally the case anymore. But that's why I'm staying at my seven. I'm so interested to see what happens with him next week. We'll see. Oh, wait, hold on.
so true. Okay, Anna. <laughs> May she rest in peace. Oh my gosh. Rob. So this week, I, I, I forget this was just the start of this week. Anna's had a big week in the Big Brother house. <laughs> she started the week with Jacob telling her everything. Everything. Um, then just gathered information, gathered allies, stayed this week with ease, has been more active than a lot of this cast was up until this point. Like, really was slaying it. For a while, I was raising my score. Yeah. And then, literally, I think the singular wrong person, besides Brady, mm -hmm. won the HOH and the double and put up Anna next to one of the people that just was not going to go home next to her. Mm -hmm. And with no time to campaign, there wasn't much she could do. And the other flaw that I'll say is... As much as she gathered a lot of allies this week, and I blame her for this, but also I blame others. I blame Jacob. I blame, I blame mainly Jacob for this for telling her like, yeah, Daryl's coming. You don't even need the campaign. I'm like, no, Anna very much still needs to reach out to people, mm -hmm. because when moments like this come around and you just need allies and people to have your back, they're not going to be there, and they weren't. Mm -hmm. So, I'm very sad that she's gone. However, her leaving the game does free up a lot, and a lot of wiggling is happening now. So, may she never be forgotten. I am unfortunately allowing my score to a two for Anna. I'm staying at my three. Um, I feel like Anna really, really made some improvements this week um, to where if things did not go wrong for her in the double eviction, I would also be raising my score. Um, so I feel like there's there's credit to be given to her there. I think that I feel like I blame a lot of other people more for her eviction than I blame her. I kind of get really pissed when people are like, "Oh, she's inactive," but literally, not true. Was more active than probably a third of this cast this week. So that makes me really annoyed, and also annoyed that we're losing someone who is generally pretty active. Um. So I feel like I don't uh, I don't want to go down that low on her, but I feel like a three is a good score for someone who improved a lot from last week, but kind of just got like unlucky with the comp winners in the double eviction and and such. Um. So yeah, two point five. Robbed. 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 Amen. Robbed. Ashley. I'm not saying Ashley this week. Um, granted, there wasn't a lot of game to play this week. However, when I compare someone like Alfred and I compare someone like Ashley, two people that I would say positionally were in practically the same spot. Uh -huh. Alfred still played the game. Even though he didn't like do anything, he actively talked to people about the game and advanced different narratives and tried to get information of things. And Ashley, in the first two weeks, really set up herself socially and I don't mean this to sound bad, but like I just kind of like sat there with her social network. Uh -huh. And that's fine. She's good at responding to people when they reach out and saying like, good morning and things, but like there's no game substance to anything that she's saying to a lot of people right now. And now that Anna's gone, I don't know. My predetermined ranking for Ashley was a six. So I am gonna move down to a six. Yeah. She is still set up good socially. But I'm not seeing any drive from her to advance anything game-wise, which is fine. It doesn't need to happen that way. But, like, that's why I'm not higher on my score. Mm -hmm. In addition, looking forward, 
with how this house has resettled itself, she's in a significantly worse position. And I could see my score lowering even more next week, unfortunately. It's still the HOH. True. And I think she she needs it to resecure herself as someone to remember and not fall to the wayside. Yeah, I think she really needs this HOH. I'm actually going to stay at my seven. Um, I think that I really place a lot of the blame, and we've said this, I place a lot of the blame on a lot of people not talking for the Daryls of the world, for the Sunnies, for the people who have been HOH, mainly just them too, because all, all the other person who's been HOH has been Valley, for literally not talking to anybody, which is so frustrating. We'll get to Sunny when we get to Sunny. Um, but I feel like, you know, I think, I mean, you said it, like she's sitting there with her social connections, which at least she still has those social connections. And I feel like she really put that work in in weeks one and two. Um, so for now, at least until something kind of goes wrong for her, I'm I'm gonna stay at my seven for this week. Okay. Cool. Brady. What a week for Brady. So let's start with the obvious. She lost her number one ally in Daryl. Mm-hmm. Not great. Let's start with the obvious again. Besides herself, Dally was the only person that would not have sent Brady home in the stubble. Mm-hmm. She would have gone home. Zero questions. Um, however, we've said this on multiple rankings in the past, and I say to it now, it's better to know where you're at in the game and be on the bottom then think you're on the top and be completely wrong. And after this week, Brady knows where she's at in the game. You know what I mean? Whereas before she didn't, now she knows. We've seen her be more active with people in these last couple of days because she knows. And we're already seeing more bonds be formed with her. And there's already significantly a lot of people that will not target Brady in this next week. So there are still people that will. She still needs to be very wary. But there's a lot of things happening, and it's no longer a lock that she is going home. Because of how things, I think, balanced out, it overall was a bad week for Brady. I'm not going to raise my score on Brady because, and like... also, these were things that happened after the week ended. Exactly. Um, it wasn't a good week for Brady, so I'm not raising my score. However, she did end this week and play the last week being like, oh, I know where I'm at now. Mm-hmm. And I think that is only going to set her up with instead of success down the line so i'm going to stay at my three and i think it could go up so long as she survives like one more week as if she can make it to the jury i could see my score rating yeah i'm gonna stay at my three as well um i agree with what you said about her surviving another week i think this is a really big defining week for her depending on how these kind of shifts in the house line up for her i think and and kind of put other people into the focus i think she could kind of slip by maybe this week um and i think that really depends because i think that if she can slip by this week i think she can survive a few more weeks which we said if anna can stay off the block in the second week then she'll be fine then she couldn't so she went home um so yeah i'm gonna stay my three losing daryl wasn't great and you're right the double eviction could have been the end for her so, yeah. Next up. Uh, Super. Dakota. <laughs> um, I'm finally not confused. I'm not confused anymore. Um, let's start with the beginning of the week. In the beginning of the week, Jaded was formed. That was a good alliance for him. Again, he was putting trust in people that had trust other places. However, the main thing that happened this week for Dakota was he was really able to lock himself in as someone that everyone saw that they could trust. I was like, great, I don't want Dakota to go. He's someone good for me. I'm not including him in a lot of my game discussions right now, but that's good for me. Like he's someone that I can talk to. I like talking to him. There are a lot more positives. 
for that reason alone, I was finally comfortable to move up to what my score is for this week for Dakota, which is a six. Um, he went on the block in the double pitch. Really not great. That almost brought me back down to the five. Except for the fact that literally everyone was like, not, everyone was not like, yes, let's finally get Anna out. Everyone was like, crap, no, I don't want Dakota to go. You know what I mean? And there is a difference in the two. And he was never going. Never, ever going. Which is why I stayed at my six. Now let's talk about everything that's happened. Because Dakota is going to, in my opinion, a lot of people. A lot of power players of these first three weeks are on the downfall, and a lot of new people are on the rise, and Dakota is leading the charge of the people on the rise. I am so excited to see what he does, because finally, granted, because he had the base structure like laid out for him by Dally, but he finally like knows what's happening in this game, and it's so helpful, because you can tell now that he knows He's able to put everything else together and he's really smart. I literally laughed so hard when I, I was on FaceTime with Dakota in his DR earlier today. And he was like, just the one thing he said, because it's the one thing I've been harping on him for in the rankings. But he's going, oh, maybe Eduardo is a better ally for me than I thought. And I'm like, yes, we've been saying this. Because Eduardo's on the outs with you. But now Dakota's being brought in, in a lot. And weirdly enough, I think him going on the block during the double was like one of the better things that could have happened for him, weirdly. And now everyone feels bad and wants to bring him in. So for the week three, I'm staying at a six and I'm really excited for Dakota's prospects in the game moving forward. Yeah, I actually did the same exact thing. I'm going up to a six as well. This is the first time I felt like he hasn't been like mediocre. So I I, I feel like that's a, a really strong point for him. I agree with everything that you've said. Um, I think him, I mean, granted it was against Anna, but I think him surviving nine to one against like, on the block during a double eviction, I think says a lot about who he's connected and how he's connected. Um, so yeah. Oh, I'm so excited to see what he does. Six. Okay. Dally. Dally. How, how interesting. What an interesting person. <laughs> Last week, my five was because Dally said no words and then asked who the nominees were at the eviction. Mm-hmm. This week, she showed back up at the very end for the eviction and the double eviction, clearly. Um... Because my God, this girl's a comp beast. When she shows up and wants to play a comp, mm-hmm. she has won it. So definitely someone to watch out for on that front. Has also gained a lot of new allies and made moves in the last couple of hours. Let's talk, sorry, let's talk about week three first. For me, my week three or for Dally is still staying at my five. For the main reason of Dally was someone that was very mainly situated in the structure of the house, and she would have easily kept that had she just sent home Brady. However, actually, I take it back. I'm going to move up to a six. Because I can really appreciate someone, and we'll get to this in the future too, I can really appreciate someone being in power being in the majority, having the majority want them to do something and not doing it. You know what I mean? She stuck to her guns because sending Brady home wasn't good for her. So why would she do it? And she didn't. And yes, some people are like questioning her now, but there are still plenty of people that are rocking with her. So you know what? Stand card. Given back to Dally. Congratulations. You're only at a six. So stand card for the story. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm all, I'm also staying at my six. Uh, I think that this week was very similar to last week for her, um, which was gonna make me lower my score to a five. 
Um, but I think during the double eviction, she really proved that she can show up and she can win. And, you know, she kind of said that, um, you know, she's here to see how far she can make it and look some shit up. And I think that, I really think that in the process, as she continues to progress in this game, she's going to realize, like, oh, crap, I can just, like, win this. So, I I feel I, better about Dolly than I did at the last rankings than I did 24 hours ago than I did 12 hours ago. So, I'm interested to see what happens. She's in, I mean, she's about to be, she was exposed for leaking the house to Dakota, so. Um, but even then, she's already done damage control on that by telling the people that she exposed that she did it and then tried to bring them into more alliances. So I actually think she's pretty covered other than people just being like, can we really trust her? But those people want Brady out first. And other people have looped her in. So I, I'm I'm really interested to see where she goes. Yeah, that's the other thing. And we'll cover more next week. She was the one to spark plug this whole flip the house mm-hmm. by exposing the power structure to Dakota. That's what set this whole thing in motion. Mm-hmm. Craziness. Craziness. Daryl. Last week, we were on opposite planet. We've arrived at a new destination, and it's called Flop City. We've <laughs> arrived. I'm not impressed. He just... I really can't stand... After he's in no words on his HOH thinking they're like oh now I can talk in this alliance with Dakota and Dally Triple D wait you aren't voting to keep me oh Paige and I have since developed a good relationship oh you aren't keeping me like after he nominated her after he nominated her um so I'm like you actively had a horrible HOH reign and by that I mean you didn't do anything um like, not only did you not do anything, but you didn't even please the house. Like, you nominated people that people liked. Like, it was just bad. Because you didn't ask anyone anything, and you gained no allies. And when your ally even won the veto, he wouldn't even s- save you with it. Which we'll talk about next. Bad. And do you know what bad means? I'm it means bad. two. Oh, I'm going with a two. Um, I just see anything redeeming. But I think a one is very deserved. Um, I think that at least one for me would be Daryl didn't even make the effort to reach out. So I'm glad Daryl made the effort to reach out and like try to do stuff. To yeah, them. me too. But he made the effort with the wrong people. <laughs> and like, I, I'm just, I'm just so over him. Like seriously, I, I can't believe he has the nerve to say some stuff when he literally you say that like other people aren't active. Like, Anna did more than you in the game. I hate to break it to you. Literally. And what about it? Anyway. Um, okay, whatever. Um, next, Eduardo. Mm, Eduardo. <laughs> um, this wasn't good for him. He won the veto which was good for him. But Eduardo, being one of the few people not involved in any of the main power structures, having won the veto while Daryl, one of his closer allies, mind you, we haven't really talked about it because they have, quite frankly, and well, they haven't been relevant enough. Um, so we haven't talked about them, but like Daryl and Eduardo are one of like the few people that like have called each other and talked about the game. Mm-hmm. And when I see what Dally did, and I go, see, Dally did not do what the majority wanted, kept Brady this week, and was able to navigate out of it. So far, at least. So we see. So I go, Eduardo actively let an ally go, didn't even try to save him, and isn't in any power structures. Is That's the week three of it all. Going into week four, I'd argue that he's in a worse position because before at least there was like a collective group that was going after some big targets and he wasn't any of the big targets now 
there's a lot of smaller groups, none of which he's in the core of, and nearly all of them have thrown out his name as a pawn star. And guess who just left the house? Anna. Guess who needs a new pawn? The entire house. I just, I don't think this is a good week for him. I'm going to lower my score to a four. And I I hope he's able, like, I don't think he's in immediate danger, but, like, I just, I don't feel great. Yeah, I just don't know where he, like, really turns after this. So that's what makes me the most worried. He's turning to Jacob, and I don't know how that's going to turn out for him. Um, I don't think well, I guess. Um, but I'm also going into a four. Um, I'm I'm re- I am really concerned for him going into the next few weeks. Um, I was concerned that Sunny was going to put him up. Um, and he's lucky that she wanted to take a random shot. So I'm surprised that Dali didn't put him up because Dali forgot that he wasn't in either group. That's why he was on not on the block and Dakota was. I wonder how that would have changed things if at all. Next, EJ. EJ. We're back to the confusion. I, I don't know. Again, um, I'm trying to distinguish what was week three and what was week four, because now we've seen him come back to life mm-hmm. post-double and be like, yeah, why do these people get to decide things? Yeah, let's make groups of our own. Um, But again, for me, like, EJ won the veto in the double. He said, Dolly, I would like to use it on Dakota. Dali was like, no. Nijo was like, oh, well, okay. I wish we had a little more discussion. Granted, it was a double. Granted, Dakota was not in any danger of going home. So, like, I don't hate that as much as I hate it for Eduardo not using the veto. Let's be clear. I was very happy the veto was not used, but... um. And I just hear a lot of people go back and forth on this. The people that are like diehard EJ to the end. Mm-hmm. If anyone says his name, I'm going to tell him and we're going to avoid it. And then there are the people that are like, where has EJ been? Yeah, of course I would put him on the block. So I don't know. For me, where I locked in and where I'm staying is staying at my six. That's what I'm doing as well. I've, I've seen that he has the tenacity to figure it out. Which is more than I can say about some other people. Yeah, and I think that he has enough of those people backing him, whereas if he ever finds himself in one of those situations, that he can make his way out. Um, so I feel pretty confident with that and with his ranking. Okay. Eric. What a week. What a week. Um, King has started to fall. No longer, I would say, the main one in power. Um, throughout this week as a whole, we've heard a lot more in people's diary rooms from both close allies, from people surrounding him, and from people on the other side being like, Eric is in a fantastic position. He's close with everyone. What? How do we let this happen? And he didn't realize that was happening. On all of his calls with Paige, love him to death, he's like, yeah, Paige, like, I think, like, these couple people can nominate you, and I think Brady nominates me, and that's it. And I was like, mm, no, I think there's maybe a few more people that think you're a threat. I hate a break through. Um, so, for me, because of that alone, whereas week one was a seven merging on an eight, merging on an eight, I mean, week two was a seven merging on a six, I'm comfortably at a six now. Mm-hmm. Um, and after what's happened in the last couple of hours, we'll see where his score goes. I would not be surprised if next week I was even lower on Eric. I wouldn't be surprised if next week he was able, he's able to turn around and I'm back up at the seven. But he's very much at a, like, we're at a very pivotal, important part of the game for Eric. Mm-hmm. And he's just started to realize that. Mm-hmm. So we'll see what happens. But still be a twitch. 
exactly. And now he knows he needs to win it, which is another good thing. Now he's aware. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, I mean, just to start, like, I mean, this week has been crazy because the beginning of this week was when he started to work with Anna. Like, that was, like, the beginning of this week, which seems crazy. Um, And they got pretty close, so losing Anna was not great for him. Um, because that was someone who really would have had his back pretty much no matter what moving forward. So I'm also going down to a six because I also, after this double, I mean, people have been talking about, people have been like loosely throwing out his name pretty much since the beginning. Um, but now there are more kind of coming to fruition, um, which I am worried about him for. And really, like, honestly, he has just not been getting his way, man. First Alexandra, then Anna, as soon as she started getting close. So, he, I mean, he's been that. I mean, he wanted Daryl a lot, I guess. But, yeah, six. Five. Okay. Jacob. <laughs> Okay, but Kat, you go first. I don't even have words. Because I'm so con... Let's just put this plainly. Jacob's played badly. this <laughs> week. And by badly, I mean expose your whole game to someone, that being Anna, And then immediately telling the HOH, yeah, I think Anna and my other number one ally, Paige, would be the two best options to put up on the block. (laughs) I don't know what he's trying to do of like, or let me rephrase that. I think I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to play 4D chess, where he's like, if I tell someone to put someone up, then they'll think I'm not close with them. And I'm like, yes, Jacob, but if you tell them to put them up, they're going to put them up. (laughs) And Anna went home. And the only reason Paige didn't go up was because Sonny was choking or gagging or whatever was happening. I I don't, like, what is he doing? It makes no sense. And he's throwing, he's texting his alliance chats, what's in his DR, and he's telling everyone about all the different alliances. And he's yes, telling other people. Who has said I want to go after Jacob? A lot of people now. Well, not in week three. Well, that's why I'm not lowering my score a lot in week three. I was gonna say I'm staying at my seven. Oh, I am absolutely not staying at my seven. For I'm it. staying at my seven. He told the HOH to put up his two closest allies. And she you can give that a seven. And she um, one of them is out of the game. But not because of that. Um. Either way, though, um, I am lowering my score to a six, and a lot of people, especially Dakota, are coming after. I am really, really, really curious to see how. Paige. Um, yeah, everyone's still in. This, this is, is yeah, Jacob is just a. Oh, who's still in? This is going to be a really long time. Ooh, okay. So, yeah. Damn. Um, but I, uh, I agree that I am very curious to see where this goes. Yeah, I mean, I just, he's played so badly in my opinion. I can't not lower my score this week. And then going into next week, like before, at least in week three, he was playing badly, but he was at the top. He is not only no longer at the top, but he thinks he has all these connections everywhere, and he does not know the half of it anymore. And he's got to be really careful about who he tells what, because all of a sudden, everyone is comparing notes now. So we'll see how next week plays out. I don't think he'll be the one to go home, but we'll see. Age Matson. Queen. Legend. Um, yeah, for me, 
she's still one to really watch out for because in this whole mess of everything that's happened, mm -hmm. she won't directly benefit it from Daryl going home. Daryl put her up. Um, she put in a lot of work with people in the last couple of weeks. We've been saying it for a while. She's well, she's the person that I think is like universally well liked by the house. Um, which is fantastic for her. Um, I think she's the lesser threat in the duo of her and Eric, which has started to be sussed out by people, which isn't great. But again, if they're on the walk next to each other, Eric's there as a target, and I think Eric goes. Um more than anything, people underestimate Paige. Mm -hmm. And that's their main mistake. For sure. And people think that they're gonna be able to be like, oh, this is Paige's first game. Oh, let's just loop Paige in because she needs allies still. She needs help in the game. No, no. I think Paige is really, really still someone to keep an eye on. A really, really dark horse. I think she is here to stay mm -hmm. for a while. Last week, I was down to a six because she was on the block, and this week, I'm back up to my seven. Yeah, I'm staying at my seven. And the only reason that I'm not going any higher currently is because I am, after the double eviction, I, I am a little concerned to what happens with her and the craziness that's about to occur. But I could see her if she kind of navigates her way through these next few weeks, or especially just like the next week or two, depending on what happens with Eric, things like that. I could really see her taking a, a big power position in this game. Um, so seven. Oh, I wish it wasn't 3 a.m. I have so much energy that I want to just give into this. Oh, I'm so tired. Sunny. Okay. I'll leave with this. I'm staying at my five. Me too. For a couple of reasons. One, she made, I think, the right move for a number of reasons. One, a lot of people wanted Daryl out. Two, she was being painted as being looped in with that group of Daryl and Brady. Mm -hmm. And that was actively bad for her. And her doing this showed I'm not with them. And that in and of itself was great. For those reasons, I'm staying, but I'm not, I would consider raising my score even. Mm -hmm. Here's the bad news. She somehow said less than Daryl. <laughs> she did the um, with her HOH. She just made the nominations. She just made the nominations. Like, I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't get it. And with how this house shakeup has blown up, she's one of the people that I think is in now the worst position. Because the troop no longer is a safety blanket. That's done. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know where she goes from here. The answer is she has to win HOHs and continue gagging. Gagging. Um, I said that I'm also staying at my five. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, I'll be... I would be very surprised if I was not at a four next week. And that's just where I'm at right now. She just needs to step up and, like play like she needs to do something everyone talks about how like oh from what i know about that she's so nice i love her i want to work with her but when i quadruple text her and she doesn't respond yeah what can you do i'm going to make other allies okay yoshi every time i think okay he sounded his footing. He'll be fine. I'm reminded why that's not the case. So just another week of people being fine to let him go. And now the troop is blown up. So I don't really have anything new to say. People still don't trust him because a friend of everyone is a friend of no one's. People know that he texts everyone. Um, now that Anna's gone, there's no more cushion. I think a lot of people are coming after him. 
I think him and Brady are the two most likely people to leave in this upcoming week. Um, so, I mean, I, ha I have no reason to raise my score. I don't um, have a particular reason to lower my score. I'm saying my four, too. And I'm saying at my four, exactly. Honestly, every, but, like, to be fair, like, pretty much every week so far, I've been like, oh, there's a chance that Yoshi could go home at the end of this week. And to be fair, he hasn't left yet. So and that's completely fair. Or like ever been like in serious consideration for nomination based on who's but winning. granted, there's been no consideration for the nominations. Okay. So Okay. Alrighty, that's week three. It's so weird. A lot happened in week three that we didn't talk. I mean, there was poker chip bonanza and everyone figuring all that out. That was another reason why Dakota, I feel like, really showed that he was really smart. Um Sonny gagged. We talked about that. Um, hope she doesn't choke soon. Um, <laughs> um, so much of where my brain is at, though, is what's happened in these last couple of few hours, and that's why I feel like we talked so little about week three as well. Yeah. So, if I'm sure there's things I'm forgetting that happened that are in my notes, but so much has flipped now, and it's I'm so excited to see who wins this HOH and what happens in the game moving forward. This is the first time this season that I felt excited about the game. Yeah. And looking at this, and I can confidently say this is mostly green, which is good. And that's also shocking to me because most of these people are not safe. Yeah. But again, this is up to the devil. And at that point, things have not blown up. So it'll be interesting to see what happens next week. Um, there's only three non-green people in here. Go oh, four. One, two, three, four. Five. On the, I'm, not, I'm not counting Daryl and Anna. Oh, okay. So four. Um what is that? Yeah, already. I don't have much else to say other than I'm really tired. Week so. four is about to be from what I can tell, it already has been insanity. And I think it will continue to be insanity. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. That's all. I wish we had more energy, oh, but unfortunately, if the HOA just can't give energy, then neither will I. Yeah, let's see what our draft is looking like. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I still think we're pretty split 50 50 on winners. Really split. I think here's the thing that's unfortunate for you. No, actually, we're pretty split because, like, the people that I could see going next, Brady, Yoshi, Eduardo, and, like, wild card picks would be, like, no, in all honesty, anyone could go. I really don't know. I think we're split pretty, yeah, I, I really, I couldn't tell you, yeah, I don't know. I feel like. Maybe I have the slight upper hand. If I could do a swap, I would take these three people. And probably get rid of these two. Like a fair trade. Just in terms of, if we're gonna trade, just in terms of who I think could win the game at this point. I think uh, I think these four are still like contenders to win the game. I'm fully keeping Jacob in there. Um I agree with you. He's just a mess. But I think like I'm going to stand by the fact that I think Paige is my top contender to win the game right now. Um, and like if Eric can survive this, then I think Eric's also up there. Dakota's really impressing me. Yeah, Dakota, I'm, I'm, Dakota's the person I'm most excited for right now, easily. I pushed for him to be on the game. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, I really need to go, but I'm really tired. Good night, everyone. Good night, night. Goodbye.